All right, so we're gonna go over the refrigeration component ID station. You don't need to do anything here, but work in groups as a team, two, maybe three, depending on the team I have, and you just need to use the word bank down here to match number up with the component that you see here, okay? Now, in the state fair contest with Skills USA Virginia, you will not only have to identify the component, but they might ask you what the component does. For example, I know you know what number one is, Compressor. What does it do though? Ah, see, you got to say it receives the low pressure, low temperature vapor and compresses it into a high temperature, high pressure vapor. And it comes out, but it's a vapor pump and it's all it does. Might even want to say something like it's the heart of the system. But then all that high pressure vapor gets carried over to this next component, which is number two, which is this right here. The condenser. The condenser. condenser. And the condenser changes that high pressure vapor to a high pressure liquid by rejecting the heat. Doing three things. De-superheating on the first pass, condensing on the middle throughout almost, and then the last two, three passes might even be subcooling that liquid, which feeds the liquid through this line here into this part right here, which is an accessory. But we're actually, let me see what they have as number three here. Number three, they actually go down here. So that's this piece down in here. So if this is the condenser, where it, uh, uh, where it actually uh, rejects the heat and changes to a liquid. What's this down here? It's the other half. Evaporator. Evaporator. What happens in the evaporator? It evaporates. Yeah, but what, what happens when stuff evaporates? What are we, what are we doing there? Uh, gas releases. Or, uh, Liquid's boiling off to a gas, but what is it doing? If here we rejected heat down it. here, it's, it's taking it. It's absorbing it. That's right. So it's absorbing the heat. So that's number three. Number four jumps back up in between the condenser and the evaporator, which is this particular device right here. What do they call that? TXV. This is actually specifically a thermostatic expansion valve. What he just said was TXV for short. But the component that it is, is a metering device. It's metering the amount of liquid to feed from the condenser into the evaporator. And this one uses temperature, TXV, temperature, to measure right here, the temperature of the line, and when it's really warm, it opens it up to let a lot of refrigerant through, and when the line gets real cold, it says, wait a minute, and throttles it back, and doesn't let a lot of refrigerant through. So this one adjusts. Where there's another one that just looks like a small 1 8 inch tube of pipe, going from the high to the low side, that's a cap tube. That's a fixed metering device. They also could use an orifice, a tiny little hole. So that's number four. Number five, hey, if it's coming out, High pressure, high temperature what? Coming out, high pressure, high temperature. What's this line then? Liquid. Liquid line, liquid line. And you got some accessories on the liquid line that they're gonna get back to. Number six, the temperature and the pressure coming out of this component here, the compressor. What is that? What's this line here called? Um, Getting kicked out. What's it mean to get kicked out of the military? Uh, Discharge. Nah, that's a discharge. 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 Yeah, discharge line. So discharge, discharge line. All right. And then we got maybe one more line they're going to go back to. So if this one's kicking out, what's this line number seven doing going back to the compressor? Sucking. Sucking it in. Suction line. So suction line, discharge line on the compressor. You need to know that. Hey, if this was the condenser and you see a motor there, what's number 10? What type of motor is that? Yeah. Fan motor. What type of fan motor though? Because it's on this side of the system next to this component. Compressor, compressor, no. no, not a compressor motor. Condenser, motor. condenser fan motor. Yep, condenser okay. fan motor. And then, oh, this little part right here that we've been showing you for a while now. It has that bimetal disc that snaps. Overload. Overload, yep, measures the temperature. And then what's this piece right here, number 12? Relay. The relay, the start relay to energize the start winding, yep. Uh, number 13 down here, that's this hose. All right, or uh, it's supposed to be the hose, really. What is that hose? Why do we need that hose? Water, the yeah, for all the water. So where does all your water go in your sink? Drain. Down the drain. drain. So drain pan here, drain line there. Drain pan, drain pan, drain line. What's this piece? You did that like the second project. Uh, filter filter dryer. dryer. What's important about the filter dryer? It keeps all, all the mess. No, 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 not liquid. It's all liquid in here anyway, but it's a moisture absorber in here and it also filters any contaminants like burrs from copper tubing all right but the big thing with that is the arrows point in the direction of refrigerant flow if it's got an arrow that points both ways 
That's a bi flow dryer. That's for another system, not really refrigeration, but a heat pump system. All right, so we got the filter dryer. Uh, number 15, what is actually is the 15 supposed to be here? What, what is this? Piercing valve? No, this is not a piercing oh. valve, but you got the valve part right. This is a, no, King's over here. Service valve? That's royal. This is a service valve, yep, service valve right here. And there's three positions to it. Anybody remember those positions? Um, if it's all the way in. What am I doing? I'm backing up. Yep, so what's, what seat is that? All the way back, seat. back seated. And then I could take it and I could ratchet it forward and that would be front seated. Front seated. And then if I had my gauge hooked up, I, would, I wouldn't push it all the way forward to keep it all the way back. I would take it and I would neutral. What do they call neutral. that when I'm doing it, just one little piece like that. Quarter turn. Quarter turn. Quarter turn. Yeah, but that's, that's mostly for the acetylene, but that's a crack. I'm cracking the valve off the back seat. Or if it was all the way forward and I needed to get this service port open, back seat. Normally working without any gauges, the typical position for this valve is all the way back seated. If I had my gauge hooked up, then I would crack it, run it, read my pressures. But before I take the gauge off, I want to backseat that valve to make sure that this port's closed off. And that's pretty much it. So if you can get all those components down and just explain a little bit about what you know about it in, and for the paper, you don't need to explain nothing. Just get the components down. This video will be up on YouTube for you to study. Over the next week, you're gonna be working in at least teams of two, getting this, this will be another station here for a little bit. Cut.